What's up my YouTube Hot Wheels friends? And for all those guys and girls out there who customize, I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite tips or tricks on how I make roll cages and tow hooks. So when I originally started trying to learn to make roll cages for like my, for example, my drag civic, that roll cage you see inside there, I started out with just your basic polystyrene. And it took me quite a while to make that little roll cage. This stuff's really light. You can see how it just flings around quite a bit. And it does that as well with tweezers. So I'm going to show you guys a way that I figured out that I think is pretty awesome. And I think you guys will like it too. So obviously I'm not going to build one right now. That would be a crazy long video. Um, but it really doesn't take that long. You just need some glue. Um, this is one of my favorite ones to use here. But the cheap stuff from Dollar Tree works good too. And hey, if it dries out, it's only a buck. You can buy another one. But I like using those because I like to use this Insta set, especially when you're trying to hold little intricate parts together. This helps out greatly. However, this is pretty cool too. If you guys haven't seen this, I also found this at Hobby Lobby. It's a, uh, it's got like a needle point to it. So you can get in real tight little intricate spots with it. So cool. However, I don't think it works too well with the uh, Insta set. So just the, uh, the super glues do. So I was in the jewelry aisle. This is a while back. I've had this for a while. So I'm just showing you guys now what I found in the jewelry aisle at Hobby Lobby. And I found this. So I'm sure you guys can see where I'm going to go with this. This is aluminum wire. And it only comes in two sizes. And it comes in like variety packs with all these different colors. So there's this size here. It's a little bit thicker, which in my opinion, is perfect for roll cages. Great size. And then there's this little bit thinner size here. which works great for tow hooks. So I built an example here that I'm going to show you guys. So uh, let me go back to this. The only thing you need are snips and glue to put the roll cage together. Obviously you're going to cut your little pieces and put it together. But so I just took a, uh, a Civic EF here and just removed the interior so you guys can see. Now, if you look closely, you can see that I, I drilled out a couple holes there. So the way that I learned was it's easier to just mold a piece of this to the size that you need for that main bar up top, like this, and then work off of that with your pieces. And the other great thing about this is look at these colors. This anodized aluminum, look at all the awesome colors you have. No paint. You don't have to paint. That was the other thing I was going to mention about the uh, polystyrene. Um, in my experience, you kind of got to scuff it up a little bit before you paint it so the paint sticks. But with this, you can completely skip that step. Plus, look, it's already got the metal look and everything. So great stuff, and it's super easy to work with. So what I was going to show you is when you get this size right here in order to try to size that up because obviously every hot wheel is going to be different what i do is i just find something that's equal in size like for example here i happen to have this little piece of metal bar here that fits perfect in there so you can simply just take your piece of uh aluminum wire put it right over it and bend it to the shape that you need And then you've got your piece, your main support that you can drop in. So this one doesn't look that great. I just whipped it up real quick, just as an example. Now you don't have to drill the holes to set it in there. I just find it easier for me. You could just drop it in there and glue it. Sometimes if you drill the holes and it comes through, you gotta cut the edges off. But 
one great thing about this stuff is it cuts super easy especially with the snips now obviously if you want to make a bar to come down you can simply cut that bar at an angle and then glue that angle to come down for your support bars here so just a fun easy no paint way to make roll cages and like I said this 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 is look how great this stuff looks and you don't even have to paint it so now tow hooks these little guys here if you look closely on some of my customs you'll see I've made these little tiny tow hooks and added them actually they're not on these here but I have one on this uh, Hako here which actually does actually have a a roll cage in it as well but like that there that cool little addition that you can add now this is super simple to make so you can just get any one of your uh, the thinner one here get you guys zoomed in a little bit now let's see what do I got here can use something small even like axle tubing would work you know it just depends on how, how big you want your loop but you need something strong enough to wrap the wire around so actually this would be better I got a little bit smaller axle tube here so you can just simply roll the wire out roll it around and just twist Pull it out. There you go. You just made a tow hook. That simple. Like I said, this stuff's real easy to cut. You can just snip it. And there you go. So that's just a fun trick I wanted to show you guys and also you know you know, it, it goes so far beyond you know roll cages it's whatever you guys use your imagination you could do so much different stuff with it i mean even like for the back of this drag civic i used a couple pieces just as like little support for the uh, rear rear wing you can make little front canards if you wanted to it bends super easy because it's aluminum and it cuts super easy so just like that All right, guys, that's my, uh, for my first tips and tricks video, that's going to be one of my uh, first and my favorite one, to be honest. I, I thought this was great. If you guys don't know about this, now you know Hobby Lobby. They got it. And like I said, they only got the two sizes, at least in my Hobby Lobby. That's all I've seen. So, all right, guys, have fun with it. Try it out. Like I said, just snips and glue, and that's all you guys need. All right, guys, till the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.